Welcome to Beyond the Lines. My name is Sarah. I'm the artist behind Pencil Geschichten, and today I'm working in the, you guessed it, Outlander coloring book. And I'm working some more on this page, bringing all of the things up here together, shading the shelves, and uh, coloring in the see through, clear part of all the jars and uh, bottles and such. Uh, today is a tiny little bit of a shorter video because that arm started hurting really badly and I'm gonna make a break now from uh, I'm gonna take a break now from filming and I'm com gonna come back in a couple of days and finish this page but I hope you enjoy uh, this video and uh, well, well for you the magic of post-production makes you not realize that I'm having a couple of days in between filming things because yeah i'm just i'm just that good at product i can't even i'm delirious enjoy the video so let's keep coloring i like this page way more now now that the background is pretty much in but not all of it is done yet so i want to start with the dark brown tombow marker that i used uh, for the background and I want to color in those bottles and jars and such so I'm gonna use it with a bit of water here because that makes it a little lighter <clears throat> and uh, that then helps with these uh, bottles not look like they're pretty much fading into the background but I can work on top with colored pencils to <clears throat> bring out highlights or shade things but still I do have quite a bit of I need more water I do have quite a bit of um, difference there to have those bottles stand out and still make him look as if they stand in front of very dark wood which is the goal here so I'm just very carefully going around my colored pencils um, <clears throat> and I'm using quite a bit of water as you can see to uh, have a difference between the background and um, <clears throat> the uh, pigment that I use here for those bottles. They're supposed to be the same color hue since, well, there's just clear bottles standing in front of a very dark shelf, but still I want a little bit of contrast and such. So I'm <clears throat> not going in with too dark of a color. And I do have a froggy in my throat. And I don't have to be worried to color my colored pencil stuff like accidentally going on top because the um, pigment that I've put down with the colored pencils pretty much repels the ink here from the markers. I still have to be a little careful of course but um, I can pretty much handle it quite easily. Depending on what kind of 
pencils or media you would use for your little trinkets here on that shelf you could also just uh, color the background in first like the um, bottles and such the thing that I'm doing now and then go on top with say gel pens or uh, uh, with some colored pencils that really sit well on top of watercolor and uh, color that in then you can do that one way or the other um, I just wasn't sure what kind of color I wanted to use for the background so that is why I went with coloring all the little items first and then decide on the background color later so there's a little more up here and up here and we're going in here and this is rather quick at this point I mean you can see I'm coloring here in real time it's rather a fast process this way around might be a little trickier if you do it the other way around but then again it might not so I'd suggest you find out by trying Last row of shelves. And the final few. All right, so that's done. Now I'm very quickly going to dry off this page. And uh, then I'm going to go back to colored pencils uh, since I want to draw in the shelves. Uh, where's my blow dryer? Oopala. Come to mama. Okay. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so what I had said, I think it was in the last video is that I wanted to put in black uh, for the shelves. So I'm just taking my black pencil here, redrawing in that line that I covered up uh, when I put in the marker. And then I'm just going to pull that black a bit towards the top. I know it's hardly visible, but it just uh, brings stuff together. And I can see it here, like 
really close. What I also want to do is right away work on shading and highlights of these bottles and such. So I want to just hop from shelf to shelf and not having to touch it again, except maybe for Wink of Stella or uh, gel, pen, gel pen treatment later on. But for example, I want my white pencil for this one and my espresso or chocolate brown. Let's try the chocolate first because the espresso might be a little too dark. Just adding a tiny little bit of shading detail and such and also adding a bit of a highlight with my white pencil. Just a smidge, not too much. But I just want things to stand out a bit, you see. <clears throat> there we go. First shelf done, except for the front part which uh, I'm only going to work on when I work on those beams and those parts down here. So back to the black. I'm pretty sure you can't see the black line that was here, but I can still see a hint of it. So I'm just going on top. And then I'm adding a bit of black colored pencil on top of it, on, like on top of the line where I can pull the shadows a little more. this point I do get a little bit of a glare because of the wax of the uh, pencils and the um, uh, the uh, marker underneath but that's fine I just might have my big old head in the way sometimes. I'm trying not to. Okay, second shelf done. Next one. little bit of a highlight here on that stone. <clears throat> Ooh. Oops, I shouldn't throw my pencils, you say, huh? Uh, next one.
with this lavender here it's a little bit tricky but I'm gonna bring in a um, marker for the stems of the um, of the lavender just not now I want to do that at the end here on these vials need a bit of a brown just a bit to not have these uh, the the difference between um, the marker background and the watered down marker background be too harsh. Adding a little of my a bit of my white pencil here just to make things stand out a bit. the next And after this video, it's only going to be a hundred more for this page to be finished. Yeah, this uh, is really one of the slower pages. It's, it's quite intricate with um, all the little objects that you well have to color there. So. Uh, It just takes a couple of more hours to complete it. And especially when you work with colored pencils, it just is a slower medium. So you just got to be aware and take your time and be good with it. Just enjoy the process pretty much. No, nope. and my white pencil broke off, probably because it fell down. <laughs> I think that's good enough for me.
in a little bit of the brown just a bit not too much and then adding a bit of the white pencil just to make a few bits stand out. This feels like a way quicker process, but I'm actually not all that sure if it actually is quicker than just coloring it with um, colored pencils. But I go for the feel, so that's fine for me. with my white pencil. just to give the illusion of this being glass and such, so. That doesn't look too shabby. to the background here. Again, pulling the black up a bit. A little bit of brown for the jars and bottles. You see you don't have to color it all the way. Just a bit is enough to suggest, okay, this is a clear bottle in front of a very dark background. Next one. This is rather a fast process. Like I said, at least it feels like it. Probably when I look at the clock in a minute, it's like, oh my gosh, this is how long it took me uh, already. But so far, I'm feeling like I'm working pretty fast. 
I'm not gonna finish the page in this video and I'm not gonna record another video today because this is uh, the second or third no it's the third video that I'm recording today it's uh, almost half past two no it is half past two almost 3 p.m. And I got a few more plans today. Got to cook. Um, Want to play some board games later on. So I don't think I can fit in another video. So this was super fast because there was no glass bottles. On to the next shelf. And we've got some glass jars here, so a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown, and also here. And then going in with white again. Ugh, I hate it when those pencils break all the time. So annoying. <sighs> Gosh. Let's try with a shorter uh, tip. Let's see if I can manage a little bit better. Where was I? Oh, there I was. go and another shelf now this is the one where the candle lights up the background a bit so I'm not gonna go over with my black pencil like everywhere I'm gonna keep it more to the right hand side and also more on the lower part here so I'm adding a bit of the dark, but not here, for example. Um, brown. <laughs> kind of confused on what color I wanted. And here the shading with the browns, uh, brown is a little more difficult because there's a little bit of a lighter background. So I didn't want to go in with my darkest pencil here with the dark brown one. But the more I go to the right, the more the, of that dark brown I can put in. And it looks like this. Next one. Funny enough, after all these tiny bits and pieces that are colored here, I'm getting to the point that I get it with pretty much every page at one point. I get a little sick and tired of something. I just want to finish. So 
I'm at this stage already and I know that I have a lot more to do on this page. And there the problem is that you can feel rushed because you don't want to work on this page anymore. I would suggest you still use your time. So say for example here there were twigs in here that I kind of lost with my dark brown background, but I can still see bits and pieces of it. So I'm going to draw them in with my white pencil. To finish up that part here. Now I need a little white on my bottles and jars. Then I can move on to the last row. And I think maybe I'm not gonna start with, uh, maybe I will finish that light brown box down here with a bit of colored pencil, but keep this video more on a shorter part of the spectrum. Because I've been coloring quite a bit, my arm is getting tired. Uh, so maybe I don't do a two-hour video here. We'll see. Maybe I just do color the uh, fronts of the shelf. Ah, thinking, thinking here. But first, all of these bits. On with my white pencil, especially here on that highlight. There's Rumi again. Sorry for the background noise. So, up here. There we go. On to the brown. And then in with the whites. It's really difficult on these tiny vials here, but you gotta do your best, I guess. <laughs> 
So on this bigger one here, it's a little easier. line here. <sighs> there we go. And the last shelf. And just a tiny little more of the brown. And then moving on with my white pencil. There we go. Now I think, I think, I think, I think, I want to start shading those shelves. Let me look at the time. Yeah, I think I got time for that. So I need to find the correct color. Mm. Ten eighty actually doesn't look too bad, Ooh, but I don't have it here anymore because it's somewhere in here already. The ten eighty. Hm. Now I gotta search for my pencil. That's not the correct one. All the ones that I use. Uh, 1080. <laughs> it has to be a brownish color because I think it fits perfectly well with um, the. Uh, did I read wrong? No, it's the 1080 one. 1069. Hmm. Where is my pencil? You're probably already seeing it and I don't. <laughs> so I have to 1080. There it is. Oh, that's the one. All right. So it's going to be the beige sienna. I was looking more for a maybe yeah, beige color, but not the um, reddish tone in there. But if you look at the paper, it actually, I think, fits pretty well with uh, the front of the shelves. So, just gonna bring that in. And then maybe a dark brown. And the pencil is called dark brown, actually. Just a tiny bit on top. But 
But I'm not gonna probably work on the other parts of the shelf, to, uh, of the whole like cupboard today. That's probably gonna be my tedious job for the next time. But I'm gonna rem remember these two pencils for uh, that color here and also down there. I think. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> if I won't uh, start shading the sh uh, the drawers down here today. Uh, or if, am I just gonna finish the upper part like these two columns and leave the rest for the next video? Decisions, decisions, guys. I gotta tell you, I just know that my arm is goddamn tired. And... Uh, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm having trouble focusing, so it gets harder. And uh, maybe I shouldn't overdo it, you know? I think I'm just gonna finish these shelves here and leave the rest for another day. I know it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video. I mean, I'm like, depending on much, uh, how much I gotta cut at the beginning and how long my blow dryer uh, took for, um, for me to have a dry page, all of that. So I'm gonna cut stuff there. But I'm currently at 43 minutes recording time. So maybe I'm like 40 minutes into the actual coloring part of the video. So I guess that's okay. Once uh, I do have this shelf in, I will probably just stop because again I'm I feel I'm losing focus it g gets more and more difficult my arm is hurting like hell because I've been straining it quite a bit this morning working on all of these videos and the marker coloring which I did not in this video but uh, I actually did this morning. It was kind of tedious and really uh, strained my muscles and my energy there. So I think it's just better for me to... <laughs> okay, hand, cooperate, please. Um, it's just better for me to... Uh, come back to this page on another day with like fresh arm muscles and a lot of focus and not rush anything you know and that's the last piece of it here today There we go. 
this looks way more like a shelf in my head. It's really hurting. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so I'm gonna come back to this page next week. I'm gonna take care of those columns with pretty much the same color combo here. Maybe I'm gonna add a little espresso in there or a dark gray. Oh, excuse me. Hoo -hoo. Haven't decided yet. And then I'm gonna move on to the lower part of the page and then it is done after a million parts. So I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will see you next week working some more on this page. And uh, I hope you have fun and do some artwork today. So color something, draw something, paint, uh, write, compose, sing, all that stuff. Do something, do something wonderful for yourself. All right, see you then. Bye.